Okay, here we have the second story. Um, the mayor's office. Um, which sort of, which re which w works well with this um, exterior part because this is the mayor's office and he come out here to address people. Um, this, um, starting off, here we have the elevator. I did promise to show how the elevator works. Now, this is basically the elevator itself. I think they could have done much better with this elevator. I think there was so much they could have done with this elevator and they really missed the mark here. Um, this area here, yeah, on these two sides, this is sort of dead space. This is unused space. They could have extended the elevator, but they chose not to. For no reason at all, I have no idea why they did that. There was so much potential of this elevator. But in saying that, it's, it's still a good build. It's still a good part of the town hall. It's just, um, it's just one of those things where you wish it could be better, but you can make it better yourself. And another area where you can customize it. Um, here we've got two buttons, one for going up, one for going down. Um, here's the elevator door, basic. It's the same door um, we used for the back door, just in black instead of green. Um, here is the secretary. Um, quite small. I um, honestly think the desk should have been bigger. Um, this is not much, um, not much going on here. Here's a rug. Um, pretty basic build. Not too much going on here. Here's the exciting part. Here is the mayor's office. Um, starting off, here we have um, a painting of a ship. A nice piece of artwork. Um, here's the mayor's chair. Now, interesting use of these gun pieces to make um, to make the hand um, the armrest. Sorry, um, but interesting um, build. Um, of the mayor's chair Really good just really good. Um, here's a lamp and a stamp I guess Um, and here is one One chair Honestly, I think the the mayor's office could have been a bit bigger um, The use of only one chair um, That's not really realistic um, the second floor, um, there's not much going on here. Let's have a look at the third, third story now. For the third story will have, oh, wait, there's not really much going on here. Why do we still have this? Like, well, what's the point of it? Obviously, no one is going to stand up here. What's the point of it? Enough of my complaining. Guys. This is a very customizable set. You can change it up a whole lot. And I'll definitely be doing that in the customization, which will be coming really soon. Anyway, um, this third story is sort of like a meeting room. Um, I find this set to be quite old fashioned. I mean, if a man doesn't have a computer, come on, man. I mean, it is built in, I mean, it is built in 1891, I think. So I guess that sort of makes sense. Here's the lift, um, same design, except um, they added some stairs um, to the roof. Um, this is, uh, this is, here's the table. Um, I don't know why, I was gonna change it um, during the build, but these should be faced the other way around. Now, I say this because having a look at a minifigure, yeah? A minifig would sit like this, yeah? Now, see this part of the minifig? These two studs will... These, sorry, these two... Um, these fit on studs. These don't. So it doesn't make any sense to have important... To have important... Um, to have the studded pieces of a chair 
pointed in the opposite direction. That means they'd be facing the windows and the auditorium. Um, instead of um, the meeting room, which was what it's basically for. Again, very minor thing, but it'll take 10 seconds just to fix it. Um, here's sort of the big chair. Um, interesting built um, using this piece. I haven't seen it um, making, I haven't seen this piece in a chair ever. This is my first time. Um, interesting globe. Um, I'm not going to complain. I really like this globe. I really wish Lego would include more of his pieces um, in other sets because it's really, really well done. It spins, it does shake a bit, but it works. Um, yeah, um, here are the plants. There's one on each side. Overall, guys, um, it could have been more on the third story. Same as the second story. Let's have a look at the roof now. Here we've got the roof. We've already covered um, the clock and bell. Um, let's have a look at the skylight here. Um, here's a janitor. It looks like he's doing some um, cleaning of the gutters. Um, this is the back view of the bell. Um, I like how it's open. Um, it's, it's easily maintained, which is nice. Um, here's the skylight pieces. Um, the garage door pieces, um, I mentioned it, um, like I mentioned earlier. Um, not much going on on the town hall. Now, if, you remember, if you've watched my um, Lego Corner Garage, I did say that in my city, it is legal not to have um, plants growing on your roof. That is true, but that does not apply for hospitals, basically any government building. And... Um, and it says plenty of plants growing, but honestly, it doesn't make a lot of sense to have plants growing on top of a town hall, um, because it's a town hall, not many people go up here, except the maintenance people, which really should be like three or four times a year, maybe. Anyway, um, that's the town hall. Again, I'm sorry that I had to get the Lepin version. It's, I'm not willing to pay a thousand dollars for a Lego set. Like, I'll just leave it there. Um, yeah, this is my favorite set. I've been wanting this set for a really long time since I've um, started um, expressing interest for the modular line. Um, I find that this is a really well-designed set exteriorly. But as I said earlier, there's lots of, um, there's lots of, uh, customization you can do with this set, which is something I really like. The after build of the build. That's something um, that I will be doing, and I hope you guys stay tuned for that. Anyway, let's have a look at the minifigs now. Here are the minifigs. Um, this set comes with a total of eight minifigures. That's a lot of minifigures, mostly because most modulars um, come with about five or six minifigs. Um, this is the largest, sorry, this is the second largest uh, minifig, amount of minifigs LEGO has ever included um, with a modular building, um, um, second after the assembly square. Alright, so let's have a closer look at these minifigs. Here is the mayor. Um, pretty basic design, not much going on. Um, it's just a guy wearing a suit. Here's the janitor. Um, um, he, I like his beard, makes him look like Santa Claus. Um, he is, um, the photo member for the wedding, sorry, not the photo member, um, the mini thing taking pictures, um, for these couple's marriage. Um, here's a camera, um, interesting build of camera, um, I do like how they extended it, if they just kept the camera, it'll make it look like, um, a family member taking pictures. Um, the use of um, the extension of the camera really makes it look like it's more of a professional photographer. Um, yeah, so we've we've seen this torso used multiple times um, um, on other Lego sets. Here is 
Here is, um, this could be either the mayor's secretary or the person working in the office that I showed you on the first story. Um, again, really mainstream torso, um, not much going on here. Here is the bride and groom, um, I'm sorry for the cut, my camera just blacked out for some reason. Um, anyway, I don't know why you would include a bride and groom in a town hall set. I've never actually been to a wedding, but I'm pretty sure you get married in a church. Um, I'm not too sure about the cultures, um, how different cultures would get married. Um, so I'm not going to say too much there. But um, you might be wondering, why is the groom holding um, a briefcase? Well, when I first saw this set, which was like, two years ago, um, I thought that the groom looked like the mayor. And, well, he's going to be the mayor, basically. Um, yeah, so I'll find someone else for the bride. I'm sorry. Oh, I'll just take the hat piece off because it makes him look like the mayor. I don't know why I think that. Anyway, here are the two kids. Um, I like how Lego included um, two kids in the set because typically at a wedding you would see kids um, throwing the flowers, stuff like that. Um, but they're not really in wedding outfits. Um, the kid is in, sorry, the boy is in um, a pretty genuine kid outfit. Same, same with the girl, um, um, now the girl has a working magnifying glass, um, I guess she's supposed to be really adventurous, now the boy has an, um, a popsicle stick. This set, um, is a complete monstrosity of a build, compared to something like the detective's office, or, um, the Parisian restaurant, um, or even, um, or even um, one of the older sets, such as the Green Grocer. I'm not going to name every set. But this is a complete monstrosity of the build. It is massive. Even though it's not as large as, um, say, the Assembly Square. Um, it is completely... You would think it is... You'd think it's bigger. Mostly because it uses up all the space and it's just so tall. Um... Yeah, this is actually my favourite um, set. I've been looking to get it for a really long time. And I'm finally happy that I got it, even though it's 11. I'm not going to say too much about that. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, also, one more thing I want to mention is I would not place this in my typical, um, in my modular line. This, mo oh, I'm sorry. This is because this is a government building. And most of the modulars... They're not, I'd say, apart from the fire brigade, they're not, the two, they're more um, commercial or residential buildings. This is a, a big building. Like, this is an important building in the city. So I will be placing it maybe next to a park or... Next to a park, yeah. Let's, let's say that. Um, but yeah, I don't actually have a city, a full city yet, because I'm waiting on road pieces and other base plates like that. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Do yourself a favor, a favor and do me a favor by hitting that red subscribe button below. It'll be the best decision, best decision of your life. I can guarantee you that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I am currently holding a medium-sized Lego giveaway. $500 worth of Lego will be given to one lucky subscriber. To enter, all you need to do is subscribe with notifications on. Then watch all my videos from start to end and comment what your favourite part of the video was. Every video you watch is one draw. This will work like a raffle system. One draw is essentially one raffle. And the more videos you watch, the more draws you'll get. Thus increasing your chances of winning. When this channel reaches 1,000 subscribers, the giveaway will end. And once a lucky subscriber will be picked. Good luck and remember you must be subscribed to enter. So get involved, tell your friends and family, because the winner will get to pick which Lego sets he or she will get. If you have any further questions, comment them down below and I will get to you.